He owned 177 properties in the United States. He made over $200 million in six months. AOS Vice President Lyndon Johnson also took a picture with him. From a shoe shiner to a real estate capitalist, this legendary black man's history of success started when he bought a white man's exclusive bank. This black man looked at many white people's banks. He had a bold idea he's going to buy this bank building, but he couldn't afford it on his own. So he went to the richest Negro in the area, Falkar. And when he heard what Harry had in mind, Falkar agreed, since the bank wouldn't lend to the blacks. So they bought the bank and used the money the whites had saved to buy and sell the property, but to buy this building. But they couldn't buy the building with a black man's identity. So they found an employee, White, to be their puppet. They wanted White to buy the bank. Then they'd be the bosses behind the scenes. But White's family has no money. He has no financial knowledge. They've never been in touch with high society. So, the special training for the rich and famous began. He was assigned to learn to play golf in the morning. In the morning, he was 